things you will need to make the cloth mask. First, obviously you'll need a sewing machine. You'll need elastic, stretchy thread. You'll need some fabric cutters. You'll also need the six by nine cutting thing to measure it. It's called a template. You'll obviously need some fabric. You'll need a pair of scissors and uh, iron. For men, you will use a nine inch elastic. Make sure it is nine inches, like this one. And then for women and children, you will want to use the seven inch um, string. So for seven inch mask, you would cut it here. For a nine inch mask, you would cut it here. I'm going to show you for a seven inch mask for this one. First, you'll need your fabric cutter. You will measure it up seven inches, put your thumb where, well, your finger about right above where it is. Now, for this part, you might want to start supervision. You want to cut it right here and just cut it like this. Now, for each mask, you're going to need a two. So you have your two pieces of elastic. You're going to want to measure and cut your fabric. First, you're going to need a like almost like a stencil for your fabric. So this one is six by nine. That should be the length of each piece of fabric for your mask. You're going to want two pieces of fabric, one for each side. So first, you got to line it up kind of near the edge so you don't waste that much fabric. And you're going to take your fabric cutters and oh, you're going to cut. Now that you have your two pieces of fabric and two pieces of elastic, it's time to start putting your mask all together. Now I'm going to show you how to start your mask. First, you're going to take your two sides and put the like sides together. First, you're going to take one side, put the needle down, then put the foot down. Make sure it's around this little line right here. Then you're going to sew. For this step, you're going to sew the whole, like, all the way down to here. Once you're done cutting all your threads off of that side, it's time to flip it over. Now, put your needle down, put your foot down. Now, for this one, you're not going to sew all the way. I'll show you how much you need to sew. You're going to sew about till there. And then, do the same thing. Lift your foot up and cut your threads. You should probably cut this access thread too. And now, you're done with that step. I'm going to show you how to put threads in. Now that you have this part sewn, you're going to open it up like this. Put your thread inside like this. And put it like this. Like this. And you're going to fold it over. Like this. Right here. And then pinch the top. Like here. Now you're going to take your pins. And pin it right here. Now that you've pinned the elastic. It's time to sew it all together. And you're going to put your foot down around where the elastic is. Then you're going to put your foot down, right? And then you're going to use your foot and sew. Once you got a little ways, make sure this isn't tagging along. And now you're going to sew all the way down to where the second thread is. Yep, you might need to adjust it a little. Now, you're just going to sew all the way until there. You're gonna snip, snip. Now you don't need these anymore. So you're just gonna put them back into your container. Now it's time to sew the other half. Just do the same thing you did the for this half. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to cut the threads. If you don't have thread cutters, you can just use regular scissors. You have cut all the threads off of your fabric. 
it is time to turn it inside out. First, you're going to have to find the little gap you made earlier. The easiest way for me to do it is first take this side, this side too, just have the little piece thingy out like this. Then you're going to go and take the other side, take that part out like this, and then you're just kind of pull it so it's like that, and then just pull. It's time to sew this little part closed. First, you're gonna tuck in the sides. It's time to sew it closed. You wanna make sure it does not unfold when you do this. First, you're gonna need to put the little needle down about near that corner, and then you're gonna put the foot down. Then, you're gonna get to sewing. You want to make sure you sew the whole way down. Now once you're done that, just clip it off. You're going to want to clip off those pesky threads again. First, you're going to do one pleat. You're going to hold it down. Make sure it's flat. You're going to take your iron. Now that you've pleated it three times, pin it. Now that you've pinned it, it's time to get off the sewing machine. It's time to sew it all together. Make sure it's on, like, it doesn't have to be so close to the edge, and it doesn't have to be so far away from the edge. It has to be just kind of like where the foot is on the edge of the fabric, this side of the foot. Put it down and get to sewing. It's time to sew the other side. After you took it out, the pins on this side, it's time to sew the other side. Same thing as last time. You put the foot like this, put it down, make sure your needle is down, and start sewing. This is my mask. It has a cute paw print on it. You can do any print you want. Or if you just want it to be plain mask, you can. You put it around your like so, and then you section it. 